Good evening, Carol Mosley, 10121 Southwest 104 Avenue in, Ham in Hampton, but Graham, Florida, 32049, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, not only is HPS asking for a special use permit from agriculture to mining, they're also asking for special privilege from you. According to Mr. Sexton, they want you to use a two-pronged approach to dealing with their request. They want to submit a current incomplete pre-application application and have you issue them a pre-approval approval. This is, this is nothing, there's nothing in our LDR that allows or disallows for such special privilege. Apparently, it's at your discretion whether or not to grant such a two-pronged special privilege or not. You need to tell them no. What nerve they have to expect this favor after they deceived you and us by promising to work with you and not rush your hand by submitting an application. But they submitted one anyway. If that's not a slap in the face, it is at least a bind to your hands and a punch in the gut to the citizens who deserve your due diligence. It's shameful how HPS treated this commission and this county. Let me read from the meeting of 421-16 itself. Sexton says, your question is, can the board take action to say that we're not going to accept any applications? And I think the way the board would do that would be by implementing a moratorium. We received an application from HPS today, so I don't know that putting a stop to receiving future applications after tonight would make much of an impact anyhow. Commissioner, so what you're saying is they applied for a permit today? Sexton, yes sir. Commissioner, knowing that this was on the agenda for us to talk about tonight, they rushed in here and applied for a permit? Sexton, yes sir. Commissioner, that's pretty shady if you ask me. Well, I agree. That's pretty shady. On March 31, they promised not to rush you, and on April 21, before the Knights Commission meeting, they slap you with an application. I may just be a feisty little old lady, but I know when a salesman has hoodwinked me, why on earth would we grant them a special two-pronged process after that? The nerve of them to expect that you would grant this special process after the deception and disruption they put us all through. It's time for you to tell them no. No special two-pronged process, and no to the incomplete application. But aside from their bad behavior, it's absurd that you would grant them any approval before they have managed to get through the DEP's process anyhow. Because if they can't get through the DEP at least, then this whole thing is a non-issue. There is no reason at all for them to need a pre-approval from you before they get approval from the DEP except to put you in a quasi-legal bind. Do not let them. Tell HBS to get their stuff worked out with the DEP before they bother us again with any special requests. Then enact a one-year moratorium so that our county has a chance to bring our LDRs up to today's standards. This is your chance to put the brakes on this out-of-control train and take a precautionary stance. Just because HPS is in a rush, we don't have to be. Again, per your attorney, there is nothing in our LDR that requires you to agree to the two-pronged process. Ask him. Tell HPS no. Enact a moratorium and work together with your constituents to develop a vision for, Brad for who Bradford wants to be when we grow up. We deserve better. Let's yes. do this right. Yeah. Yeah.